Savo East National Park is one of the oldest and largest parks in Kenya at 13,747 square kilometers. Situated in a semi-arid area previously known as the Taru Desert it opened in April 1948, and is located near the town of Voi in the Taita Taveta county of the former coast province. The park is divided into east and west sections by the A109 road and a railway. Named for the Savo River, which flows west to east through the national park, it borders the Chiyulu Hills National Park, and the Makomazi Game Reserve in Tanzania. Geography Inside Savo East National Park, the Athi and Savo Rivers converge to form the Galana River. Most of the park consists of semi-arid grasslands and savanna. It is considered one of the world's biodiversity strongholds, and its popularity is mostly due to the vast amounts of diverse wildlife that can be seen, including the famous Big Five consisting of lion, black rhino, cape buffalo, elephant and leopard. The park is also home to a great variety of bird life such as the black kite, crowned crane, lovebird and the sacred ibis. Savo East National Park is generally flat, with dry plains across which the Galana River flows. Other features include the Yada Plateau and Lugard Falls. Savo West National Park is more mountainous and wetter, with swamps, Lake Jipe and the Mazima Springs. It is known for bird life and for its large mammals. It is also home to a black rhino sanctuary. Topic: <laughs> Archaeology and History. Although a few early Stone Age and Middle Stone Age archaeological sites are recorded from ground surface finds in Savo, there is much evidence for thriving Late Stone Age economy from 6000 to 1300 years ago. Research has shown that Late Stone Age archaeological sites are found close to the Galana River in high numbers. The inhabitants of these sites hunted wild animals, fished and kept domesticated animals. Because of the sparse availability of water away from the Galana River, human settlement in Savo focused on the riparian areas and in rock shelters as one moves west. Swahili merchants traded with the inhabitants of Savo for ivory, catskins, and probably slaves as early as 700 AD and probably earlier. There is no evidence for direct Swahili colonization of Savo. Instead, trade was probably accomplished by moving goods to and from the Swahili coast via extended kin networks. Trade goods such as cowrie shells and beads have been recovered from archaeological sites dating to the early Swahili period. 19th century British and German explorers document people we now refer to as Orma and Watha during their travels through the Nika bush or hinterland and generally viewed them as hostile toward their interests. Beginning in the late 19th, early 20th century, the British began a concerted effort to colonize the interior of Kenya and built a railway through Savo in 1898. Two man-eating lions terrorized the construction crews led by Lieutenant Colonel Patterson who eventually shot the pair not before they had killed 135 Indians and local workers. The railway was eventually completed through to Kisumu on Lake Victoria. Savo remained the homeland for Orma pastoralists and Watha hunter-gatherers until 1948, when it was gazetted a national park. At that time, the Orma with their livestock were driven off and the aboriginal population of the Watha people was forcefully relocated to Voi and Mtito Ande as well as other locations within the nearby Taita Hills. Following Kenyan independence in 1963, hunting was banned in the park and management of Savo was turned over to the authority that eventually became the Kenya Wildlife Service. Savo currently attracts photo tourists from all over the world interested in experiencing the vastness of the wilderness and incredible terrain. Topic: <laughs> Major attractions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mudanda Rock. The Mudanda Rock is a 1.6 km inselberg of stratified rock that acts as a water catchment that supplies a natural dam below. It offers an excellent vantage point for the hundreds of elephants and other wildlife that come to drink during the dry season. <laughs> Yada Plateau 
The Yatta Plateau, the world's longest lava flow, runs along the western boundary of the park above the Athi River. Its 290 km length was formed by lava from Ol Doinyo Sabuk Mountain. Lugard Falls Lugard Falls, named after Frederick Lugard, is a series of white water rapids on the Galana River. Aruba Dam Aruba Dam was built in 1952 across the Voi River. The reservoir created by the dam attracts many animals and water birds. Topic: Mammals. Savo East National Park is one of the world's largest game reserves, providing undeveloped wilderness homes to vast numbers of animals. Famous are the Savo lions, a population whose adult males often lack manes entirely. In total, there are about 675 lions in the Ambozeli Savo ecosystem. A comprehensive list of the animal types found in Savo East Park includes the aardwolf, yellow baboon, bat, Cape buffalo, bushbaby, bushbuck, caracal, African wildcat, cheetah, civet, dick dick, African hunting dog, African dormouse, blue diker, bush diker, red diker, eland, African bush elephant, bat eared fox, greater galago, gazelle, large spotted genet, small spotted genet, garanic, giraffe. African hare, spring hare, coax hartebeest, East African hedgehog, spotted hyena, striped hyena, rock hyrax, tree hyrax, impala, black backed jackal, side striped jackal, clipspringer, lesser kudu, leopard, lion, banded mongoose, dwarf mongoose, Egyptian mongoose, marsh mongoose, slender mongoose, white tailed mongoose, vervet monkey, Sykes monkey, fringe eared oryx, clawless otter, ground pangolin, crested porcupine, cane rat, giant rat, naked mole rat, ratel. Bohor reedbuck, black rhinoceros, serval, spectacled elephant shrew, bush squirrel, East African red squirrel, striped ground squirrel, unstriped ground squirrel, Sunni, warthog, waterbuck, plains zebra, and Grevy's zebra. Topic: <inaudible> Birds. Over 500 bird species have been recorded in the area, including ostriches, kestrels, buzzards, starlings, weaver birds, kingfishers, hornbills, secretary birds and herons. Poaching <inaudible> 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 Between 2001 and 2006 more than 100 lions have been killed in the Ambozeli Savo ecosystem. Most of them have been speared by young men. The poachers usually do not face serious consequences. In contrast, the game scouts who arrested offenders have been punished by the community. 